Good morning, closet friends. You know, I just wanted to share this quickly with you. I was making my lunch uh, to take to work, and um, it made me think about how much you learn when you travel. So I usually make up a salad today. I've got kale salad, which my husband absolutely hates. He doesn't know how I can eat it, but I love it. So I made up a nice kale salad with tomatoes, cucumbers, and some Parmesan cheese, and then topped it off with a drizzle of olive oil. And then I realized how much I love olive oil, but have never really appreciated it until a couple of years ago when I went to an olive oil tasting in Spain. And uh, they had this all set up. We did the wine tasting first, which was great. And then we moved on to another place where we were going to do olive oil tasting. And I sat down at my place at the table expecting to see bread for us to do the dipping into the olive oil. There was no bread. So the guy comes around and he says, this is the first olive oil we're going to try and tells us about the taste and the nuances of it and then comes around and pours a little bit into everybody's bowl. And still I looked and I thought, no bread. So he said, well, let's go. And he picked up his little cup and he sipped the olive oil. And I thought, wow, he's drinking it, just the olive oil on its own. So I did the same. And my goodness me, you get all the flavor of the olive oil like that. Must be a, a really um, uneducated person when it comes to food, because I didn't realize that you get the most benefit. You don't want to dull it with the taste of bread. So ever since then, I've been very fussy about my olive oil. I like a real bitey olive oil, um, something that leaves that very grassy taste. And uh, I've tried it with my granddaughter, and she thinks it's disgusting. So there you go. We all have our own tastes. So here's two new things that we all learn from traveling. Have a great day.